Hi everyone, I'm Faye from FNS Resellers and together with my husband Simon, we resell full time on eBay and Amazon and a couple of other um, sites as well. And this video is going to show you everything that has sold over the weekend that's going out in the post today. It was a really good weekend after quite a few sort of quieter ones. Um, so we're really, really pleased that what we're buying is going out quite quickly. Now today is Tuesday the 18th of May 2021 and it's the last day to enter our giveaway on our previous video which you can see here. We will be judging the video um, later on but get your entries in before the end of the day um, to qualify for our prize which you can keep or resell or do whatever you want with it but it's a good one. Uh, so we have in total 36 things going out in the post today, which means it's going to be an epic day of packing. I'm here doing the video while Simon's out at the auction because I bid on some bits and bobs over the weekend, which I will show you in a future video. Um, but when he gets back, we'll start the packing. So I need to get through this um, quite quickly. And to start with, I will show you <clears throat> everything that um, is breakable as per. I uh, just like to get it out of the way so I don't break it in the process. Um, first of all, we have a Le Creuset sort of dish. Well, like a, I guess you put sugar or flour or something in it, maybe. Um, tea bags. Uh, it came in a job lot from the auction and um, it hasn't been for sale very long. March, I listed it. It cost £5.39. It's, oh, it's a spice jar, 0.8 litres, which is 28 ounces. And this colour is called Caribbean Turquoise. And I stated that the lid's got a rubber seal on it. Sold for £20 on offer. I need to find somewhere to put it all. Another item which took me ages to list because I loved it. I bought about, well, I bought a job lot of green glass bottles from the auction last year. And they were just sitting on our windowsill for ages because they were so nice. I kept two. Um, and started listing the other ones. Um, I've got a massive one to list. One's already sold. Um, I showed you in a previous video. This one is Empoli or Empoli. I say Empoli, don't know which is the right way. Um, it's a genie bottle. These are, this shape is called a genie bottle and they come with stoppers. It is quite common to see them without stoppers because they can get broken or lost over the years. But it is um, vintage, it's from um, sort of the 1950s, 60s, so mid-century modern. Um, it's from Italy and it's 46 centimetres tall and it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, this cost 6 76 I listed it in April but probably had it a year uh, and I sold it for 44 99 plus post. Yeah. But this stopper is quite loose in the top so... I won't put it in there. I did state that on my listing. Uh, the next breakable is this beauty. This has been for sale for quite a long time um, because it, we listed it quite high and then just slowly reduced the price over time because it is very collectible, but we just weren't sure on um, the best price. So we're happy to do that with collectible things, antiques and um, sort of little treasures. Um, the brand is Kastrup, which is K-A-S-T-R-U-P, glass, G-L-A-S. It's a vase, it's tall, it's white, it's cased, that's what it's called, where it looks like the white is under a layer of clear glass. Um, it's home guard, and it's from Denmark. I put the measurements in the title along with uh, the word vintage. I listed it in September, and it cost £3.06, and I sold it for £50. This item sold very quickly. Simon actually picked this one up recently. Um, it's actually two of our favourite colours. So purple is my favourite colour and sort of turquoise tealy colour is Simon's. It's Allen Bay, which is um, on the Isle of Wight. And it's a vase with swirls. It's got a flared top and it's 16 centimetres tall. We listed it in April, it cost £6 and sold it for £18.99. And it actually has the sticker on the base um, stating that it's Allen Bay glass made in the Isle of Wight. We sold a few Allen Bay pieces in the past. 
Um, so that was a good one. Uh, something else that sold quickly was this Hello Kitty Liberty Art Fab Fabrics Hand Wash and Hand Lotion Set. Um, two bottles on a ceramic tray. It's actually ex boot stock, but it's just Hello Kitty. It just has a fan base, as does Liberty. Um, it costs three pounds, and it's going abroad via GSP, and we sold it for eighteen ninety nine. An old cherished teddy is going out. This one is uh, Best Friends. Uh, I always put an Esco in the title, that's the brand. If I've got room, I'll put the serial number because they will have them and the date. It, they're always, uh, they always have the date stamped on the bottom. This is from the year 2000. Uh, and it's an ornament collectible bear. This cost 40p as part of a big job lot picked up locally in May last year. I sold it for 5 49 because these are the stragglers at the end um, that I want to get rid of. But if you've seen recent videos, you'll see that I've picked up um, bigger versions of uh, Cherish Teddies. They're like the sort of membership only ones. Uh, so if you're in the club, um, they're sort of limited edition. So I only listed those on Sunday. Uh, this was a, another quick sale, really pleased with this. Um, this I picked up, you'd seen in a recent haul video, I picked up a load of Wedgwood crockery. Um, I, it, this, this, the design is Ice Rose, but I'm not sure that this one is. It was differed slightly and it didn't say Ice Rose on the base. It actually doesn't say what the design is at all. Um, so I just put Wedgwood milk jug, white blue flowers, and the fact that it's got a scalloped edge Bone China, made in England, and I paid £3.49 last week, and it sold for £16.99. I was really pleased yesterday because we actually sold that and two other items to the same person. Well, that to one person and two other items to someone else. They messaged and said, um, can you quote for combined shipping? Well, we had free shipping, so we said, oh, it's free shipping. So they're like, great, they bought it, and then it turns out they're in America. So they were sort of pulling a fast one because it's not free shipping to America. Um, so we had to cancel that sale at their request. So it was disappointing, because uh, it nearly, those the sale of those three items would nearly have covered the cost for the whole set. But it's all part and parcel of being a reseller. Got a paperweight going out, a beautiful paperweight, Mill Fury art glass paperweight, and I've described it as star, flower, stringers, green, blue, red, and round. It doesn't have a signature. I got my loop, which is like a magnifying sort of light, onto the stringers, which are the different um, bits inside, and uh, to see if there was any signature sort of hidden anywhere, uh, like some do, but there wasn't anything. So. I'm not sure on the origin of this, so I didn't even um, guess. But it sold for two pound fifty. No, I bought it for two pound fifty nine in March, and sold it for nineteen ninety nine. And again, it's going abroad via GSP. All our international sales are GSP. Uh, <clears throat> the next breakable sale was a great one. Another recent pickup. There's four items that I grouped together. The brand is Franz Porcelain. Franz is F-R-A-N-Z. You can see it on the bottom there. And it's, is it Japanese? Oh, it's made in China. Uh, there's a, this beautiful leaf dish. I mean, this is stunning with a ladybird on it. And um, this trinket dish with a butterfly on it. And these two sort of votive tea light holders with flowers on. Together they cost me £12.96, they were all priced individually in the charity shop and I sold them for £49.99 and I listed them in April. Um, don't wanna, they're so fragile, I'll just put them there <laughs> and hope for the best. Oh, I just clicked on something. Right, so that's the breakables out of the way. Another great sale is this beauty. This was actually in a job lot of um, hats, gloves, scarves and other accessories from the auction. And this hasn't been listed too long. We had it a while, I've put it off listing it uh, just because it was just a bit more difficult. <laughs> and it, where is it on my list? Where's it gone? That is very, oh there we go. 
it's obviously an umbrella it's nine carat rg gold with um this bit here and this bit here and it's an umbrella canopy black with bamboo wooden handle and it's got a button to fasten it it cost one pound 61 i listed it in march and we sold it for 39.99 it's like a real sort of old school businessman's umbrella sort of back in the 50s 60s in london maybe uh get the, the sweat away it's a big one so you'll see you've seen loads of times that we sell job lots of items of clothing and sh and shoes now that have been hanging around that we don't want to list individually for various reasons it could be the time the interest the fact that we just can't be bothered to have them sitting around anymore just want them gone so there's three pairs of shoes in here and they worked out at a cost of zero i think purely because no cost price of three pounds these ones um they are a pair of faux suede navy blue loafers men's and two pairs of primark sliders all in different sizes they're all brand new and um, so they cost me three pounds but i just wasn't going to make any money on them so i listed them together as a job lot and I mentioned um, market stall traders, car booters, other resellers in um, the keywords. And they sold 5 99 plus post, which suits me fine because it gets them out the door and it gets like a quid or two back in our account. And another one here, job lot. Is this the one with 38 items in it? No. I knew we hadn't got it. Okay, we've got a job lot. Oh no, it's here. Job lot of hair accessories. So in all the bundles we picked up from the auction, there were loads of um, hair accessories. So scrunchies, hair bows, hair bands, um, head scarves, all that sort of thing. So I grouped them together and there were 38 items and they're all brand new. And I listed, they worked out free because we worked out the cost price of everything that we listed so the cost price was divided down into all listed items and everything left behind had a zero cost these sold for six pound plus post so have we got both i'm sure we sold two bundles this one is 60. so this one is a job lot of hat scarves other accessories Quantity, 60 items, all new with or without tags. Again, zero cost price. We do try to put them in the sucky bags where we suck the air out to make storage easier, but this one failed on us. Quite a few have failed on us. And this sold for eight pound plus post. I just wanted it gone. Um, but yeah, some good items in there. Um, sort of negligee, which is brand new in its box, but there should be two in there, one's missing. Um, knitted scarves belts, all sorts of things, but great for another reseller, great for a car booter, market trader. Again, I'll throw that down there. So that's all the big stuff. Okay, we did make a boo-boo. Um, somehow, I think it happens when people cancel um, sales. So a customer buys something, decides they don't want it, so they, we have to cancel it. And sometimes the relisting, there's a blip with it on eBay. So we've oversold on a jumper uh, that we're going to have to cancel. It's a DKNY sweatshirt that should have been £20, but never mind. Uh, it happens. Uh, this came through last night. This was in a job lot of stationery. It's a writing paper and envelope set, embroidered, handmade. Um, it's like a luxury writing set and it's all new. It cost £2.94 as part of a stationery bundle in February and we sold it for £12.99. Quick sale here, we've had these less than two weeks. They're Fly London sort of kitten heel slingback shoes in purple. Uh, they're a size seven and I paid £3.50 for them. They're on a recent haul video. Uh, yeah, listed them this month and they sold at full price for £24.99. This here was my first Facebook sale 
on one of the clothing pages. So uh, a lot of different brands have their own sort of groups on Facebook. So there's Joe Browns, there's Hush. The Hush and Mint Velvet one's really good. And um, this is a Joe Brown sort of smock tunic dress. And uh, it sold the same day I put it on the Joe Browns page. And it's great because there's no fees. Obviously the money goes through PayPal. So there's PayPal fees, but there's no eBay or selling fees. So this one, I think cost a fiver maybe, and I sold it for $24.99. Some pants. Apparently these are for the buyer's granddad. So that's interesting to know, but they cost £1.76 in March. They're Lonsdale men's boxer shorts, two pack, extra large, brand new in box, and I took an offer of £9. Uh, so here's one of the DKNY jumpers that did sell. This one sold for uh, 20 pounds. It's just a black sweatshirt with um, sort of sequin DKNY logo on the front. It's actually really nice. Um, if it was in my size, I would have kept it. Uh, it cost three pounds and we sold it for 22. It's um, ex Costco stock. So you'll see that I talk about that a lot. We get a lot of ex-Costco stock. They do a lot of DKMY, they do a lot of Calvin Klein, and we've sold pyjamas, underwear, and loungewear, all that sort of thing. Kept us going through lockdown. There's another one, so you can sort of see the DKMY logo there. Uh, this is a small one in maroon. It costs £2.60, this one, and it sold for £19. Paddy Power socks, we sell a lot of Paddy Power stuff because we've just ended up with a load of it from the auction. In a lot of the accessory and underwear bundles, we ended up with woolly hats, um, sort of funny, huge Y fronts like Lucky Pants and socks. And the pants flew, the socks are a bit slow and the knitted hats are dead. Um, but then they're gonna go in the winter, aren't they? These ones cost, us 59p uh, they're brand new they're part of the rewards club scheme um, and we just took an offer of £5.49 and um, we've got three left three pairs left so if you want them go and check them out <laughs> this I think could have been in a vintage unboxing video I'm not sure um, if it wasn't it was in a vintage box of um, bric-a-brac from the auction it's a men's shaving brush I'm unsure as to what the bristles are because sometimes they can be like um, badger maybe, but I don't know. I don't know if these are um, like real or not synthetic, who knows. But the brand is Ace and it's a pure bristle shaving brush with a mustard coloured handle. And I put this vintage retro and collectible because people do actually collect vintage shaving items. It cost £3.72 in March and uh, sold for £12.99. An auction item that's been hanging around for absolutely ages, but then people haven't really been wearing sort of dress shirts. Uh, we listed it in October. It's an um, Oxford, New York shirt, 16 and a half inch, blue with dots, and it's, I think it's Costco stock. They do sell a lot of, um, I think they must have brands specifically unique to Costco. And this one was 193 in October. I took an offer of 11.69 because I still don't envisage many shirts selling, um, not, not sort of work shirts anyway. Uh, and I don't tend to pick them up anymore because I hate photographing them. A great quick sale came through over the weekend. This one is a sea salt case to top. It's a size UK 26 slash 28, so plus size. And it's got a scattered vine squall design on it. Uh, and I found that out through the label. So the label on the inside of the garment has a uh, caster top written on it. So I Googled Cecil caster top and that took me through to John Lewis, which had a more interesting explanation about the top. So I was able to put that in the listing. It's very helpful. Um, it cost $3.99, got it and listed it last week, sold for $29.99. Plus size Cecil does do well. Now these are rugby shin pads. Just need to make sure that there's two in here, yeah. So it's a pair of rugby shin pads. These were in a job lot of items from the auction. Um, not the sort of thing we tend to pick up. 
Uh, however, when they're in a job lot, we don't have a choice if there's other things that we want. These, uh, the brand is 22 and it's one size fits all. They cost 87p in December. I took an offer of 6 99 and we've got six pairs left. Hopefully they'll go now that sports clubs and that are all back training and um, playing matches. Um, a water bottle, this one is, so well, I don't know if it's swell or so well, so well, but it's S apostrophe W E L L. And it's 17 ounce, 500 mil, magnetite, black, insulated, stainless steel, no sweat bottle. As you can see, it's brand new with tags. This cost 3.53 as part of a job lot of drinking bottles from the auction in February, and we sold it for 14.99. They're nice bottles. <coughs> but I've given up having nice bottles because Simon takes them to football. He plays football twice a week. And he either comes back without the bottle because he forgets it and then it's not there the week a week later. Or um, it just seems to be a target for everyone. Although everyone's bottles are out on the side, his just gets annihilated. So um, yeah, I've had broken bottles and bottles go missing. So I just don't get nice ones anymore. Um, a nice little sale from um, a makeup bundle. This one is a load of Charlotte Tilbury sort of tester sample things that you get when you make a purchase. So they send you sort of um, little bits to try. There's seven samples in here, include, including Magic Cream, Light Collagen, um, Lip Bath, Night, Wonder Glow. It actually costs £7.5 p altogether and I sold for £12.99, but I couldn't not sell them because people buy them. Over the weekend, I did the arduous task of sorting out item specifics on eBay. I mean, we have over a thousand listings. I think we have 1,300 at the moment, which is sort of not high for us. It's not low either, but we've had way more. Um, but I filtered all our active listings to clothes and shoes and then went through the task of doing all the item specifics. And it actually made a difference. Uh, a few sales came through, including this one, um, which is something that we've been um that we got as part of a job block from the auction again their kids leggings their two pack their sketches uh, again this is costco stock and i don't find i don't enjoy selling kids clothes there's not much money in sort of the regular stuff you see and i don't really know the the sort of expensive brands other than sort of you know more sort of ted baker and levi's and stuff like that um, so I don't ever look at kids' clothes. And these cost £3.7p in January. They're seamless leggings. Oh, it's a three pack. Oh yeah, two pink and a gray pair. Age five to six, brand new tags. Took an offer of nine pounds, but they sort of flew straight after doing the item specifics. So just sit in front of the TV and do them and just sort of filter it by sort of um, category. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, under Armour, we had loads of Under Armour in auction bags um, sort of last, late last year, early this year, and it just doesn't sell very well. A lot of people wear it. I don't know if like, specific um, items are better than others, but when you get it from the auction, you obviously can't choose what you get. The good thing was we didn't pay much for them. Um, so we, they're Under Armour Heat Gear leggings, and they're snakes in effect with the sort of mesh panels and they're brand new with tags. Sold two pairs to two different people this weekend. They both cost 59p in December, so really, really cheap. And we sold both pairs, I think, for 9.99. Uh, no, one pair I took an offer of seven pounds, the other went for um, 9.99. So at 59p, it's still money and our tub, where we store all our stuff, we put them in tubs, and we've got a tub, a tub labelled bottoms, so that's where your jeans, your skirts, your leggings go, and that was our sort of most full tub, so it's good to get some stuff out of there. Next up, we have some Pringle boxer shorts. Men's, it says it's a four pack, but is it? Because these again are Costco, old Costco stock. And we tend to get 
packets of underwear, that sort of thing, when it states that there's four, it's all fluff on it, um, but there's actually maybe three or two pairs in there, so they can't have them out for sale. Um, yeah, so it states that there's four pairs, but there's actually three pairs in there, which I've said in the title. Um, they're Pringle Classic Boxer Shorts and Extra Large. Um, they cost £3 in January and sold for £14.87. Next up, some trainers. Again, another auction pickup. They cost £7.83 in March. There's a big bundle of shoes. They're Adidas versus Pace trainers in a size 8. Um, they're not brand new, but they've only sort of been tried on. Um, the soles are excellent. And they sold for £25. And they, again, sold straight after I did the item specifics. Kipling bag. This was a Chazza pickup. Um, possibly overpaid on this one, or I can't remember. It didn't have the Gorilla key ring that all the Kipling bags have. Um, it's a mini crossbody bag, so it's, it's aimed at kids, actually. And it's got the, the straps detachable, so you can put it on your belt loop um, and wear it that way. It costs three pounds. I didn't overpay. What am I talking about? Um, it costs three pounds in April, and I took an offer of thirteen pound eighty-seven. This bra, I actually had up for more money than I sold it for because it's Victoria's Secret, and the, this this bra is called Very Sexy Rhinestone Push Up Bra in lipstick red. It's brand new tags, it's size 36 double D, so a decent size, <clears throat> and it came as part of a job lot of underwear. Uh, and they originally, they sell for quite a lot of money, and I sort of wanted to see like what the biting point was for it. Um, listed it in March, and weren't getting any takers, so we slowly reduced the price, and it sold at 30 pounds, which I think is really good for one pound 76. Another bra. This one is, got lo we had loads of bras, we still got quite a few for sale, um, but they've done us really, really well. Um, it's a Burley, or Burley, which is B-E-R-L-E-I, Beauty Minimizer Bra 36F in white, and it's brand new with tags. It cost one eighty seven in January, and sold it for £17. So, excellent bra sales there. And that leaves just this one. It's, oh, this came through this morning. It's a Scrabble Deluxe of Electronic Timer. It's complete because um, we check all the games that we get and all the jigsaws and nothing goes out incomplete unless it states it in the title. Um, but this one is a vintage game. It cost three pounds and we picked it up in April and it sold for 43.99. We would have sold those back on Amazon um, previously, but they have removed a lot of sort of vintage and old games from their catalogue due to sort of safety certificate regulations. Um, so unless you can supply the information, the listings get removed. Um, so there's a lot more vintage games now for sale on eBay. Now I'm just checking just to make sure that is everything. Did I do that one? That is everything. Um, yes, that is all of it. So, that was a pretty good weekend. We have had far better weekends, but things started sort of slowly um, decreasing once the shops opened. People seem to be going out and buying from shops because they haven't been able to for ages. Um, but we're seeing like a steady increase in sales again. And that goes hand in hand with sourcing regularly, listing regularly, um, price changing and tweaking listings regularly eBay isn't about listing and just leaving your listing and hoping it sells. You have to put the work in to be successful and that can mean admitting that you've made a bad buy and just trying to clear the stock out or it can mean sort of aiming high, trying your luck and if not, um, just lower the price to find that biting point. Um, so yeah, that is everything that's going out. So don't forget the competition on our previous um, haul video. Um, that ends today and we've got more haul videos going out this week and I'm also going to do a mystery 
not a mystery, like an unboxing of um, some of the vintage stuff that Simon's picking up for me from the auction right now. So I'll film that. I did one previously and it was really popular. Everyone loved it. So I'll do another one. I won't, I promise I won't look in the box until I'm filming it. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, click the notification button. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for your messages. And we're glad that we've been able to help so many of you. And I'll catch you in another video. Bye for now.